Hello team, I'm Sean Maloney and this is the short ball where we've got only the slickest highlights from the weekend Super Rugby action and we're going to kick things off in Hamilton, the Tron, the city of the future where the Chiefs and the Force went head to head. Now this is Charlie Nartai capping off some excellent build up from his slick outside backs. Chiefs led early and then it got so much tougher for the Force with Ian Price seeing red off and out of the hand of Angus Gardner. The Chiefs getting the job done there by eight in Hamilton. Now we come across to Campbell where Henry Spate got the Brumbies rolling and then it became the David Pocock show through the first half. How do you like that? Three tries in a half for David Pocock across now to Christchurch where the Crusaders, this is a must win game for them and Nemanja Nandolo continues on his brilliant ways, putting away there is Tafua, Jordan Tafua capping off. Excellent work there from Nandolo. Speaking of slick tries, how about Michael Hooper gassing the Rebels and then setting up Adam Ashley Cooper. The Waratahs would go on to win this one by just the two points. The Rebels are really asking some questions of the headline teams in 2015. Speaking of teams tracking nicely, the Lions recorded a fifth straight win for the first time in franchise history against the Cheetahs. This one an absolute thriller as the Lions start to move their way into finals calculation and the Stormers and Bulls, well, we expected this one to be a real slugfest. It was indeed, so just a one try out of that game. And this for the win for the Bulls. Ah, uh -huh. here comes Dwayne Vermeule and charging down the droppy attempt. So that a big play from big dangerous Dwayne. The Hurricanes and the Reds played the final game of the rounds action in the sunshine in Brisbane. The Reds showed some terrific glimpses. Samu Karevi with a double. This, the pick of the two tries he scored, he is going very nicely at the moment. Is Samu Karevi, but the Canes too good there for the Reds. So this is how the ladder looks, and we are starting to get ourselves into the business. And the Hurricanes improved to 8-1 and one on the season. Their best ever start to Super Rugby in franchise history. And then we get a look at the chasing pack. The Tars, Lions and Crusaders still a shot. So to the Rebels, they're not cooked yet. They're still a chance of playing finals rugby. Well, there are plenty of contenders for our best try this week, but our pick comes from Brizzy. And the Canes are making a habit of scoring some stunning five-pointers. Yeah, the Canes, they just know how to get it done. They do it beautifully. Now the backs did their thing, and it's time now for the big men to dust off the shoulders. It's hammer time, folks. Oh, hammer time! Yeah, I'll try it here. And we oh, sent some big tackles already tonight. Yeah. And you've got it. Bounces off the tackle of Johnny Cotter. Oh, what a hit first up. Now it's some quality biffing and barging in there and now we move on to your kidding me time and on Sunday the Reds rolled out the big guns against the Hurricanes and I mean that quite literally get a load of these weapons that they rolled in all part of the Anzac Day commemorations and they did a terrific job did the Reds in fact all the teams across Super Rugby these fellas pulled the trigger. How do you like that? Pulled the trigger after each try was scored. It echoed all around Suncorp Stadium. Big guns there and plenty more big guns to come on Rugby HQ this Thursday from 8.30pm on Fox Sports Channel 502. Of course, we've got the latest edition, the London Report, where Nick McArdle will chat to legendary all-back number eight, Zinzan Brook. There he is popping a droppy from... 50 out way back in, there he is, all smiles and we'll have a laugh. We'll also have a laugh with the Melbourne Rebels, Sam Jeffries and Mitchie Inman and the rest of the gang. And we've also got our Plays of the Month on the way. That's always a whole lot of fun, the Plays of the Month. Speaking of fun and good times, Waratahs v Brumbies, our match of the round from GIO Stadium, 1v2 in the Aussie Conference. 
Last time out, the Tars got physical in a 15-point win over the Brumbies. Who's bouncing back? Are the Brumbies coming back? Are they going to say top of the Aussie Conference? We'll find out on Friday night, 7.30pm on Fox Sports Channel 502. Right, that's us all done and dusted. For more, you can check out the website foxsports.com.au. And as always, if you see anything from the weekend's action, hey, drop us a line at Fox Sports News. Use the Twitter handle, hashtag the short ball. I'm Sean Maloney. We'll see you all again next time.